Welcome back into the Statesman Insider, right here on the Ferris Field, the site where you guys just got it done over Mississippi Valley State. Now, it's kind of rough in the inning, in the early innings, didn't know where we were going, and then we kind of finally started getting the bats going. How did that feel, getting the bats going? It felt real good. You know, we struggled a little bit early, but we kept fighting, uh, hit, some ball, hit some balls hard, and uh, got a win in the end. So it Win was important, and, and also you went two for four. Uh, uh, helpful to getting that charge kind of going. Uh, what kind of got you going personally? Uh, just tried to score some balls up, uh, hit it hard. Uh, they found some holes, and we hit good as a team. Finally got a uh, good win. Now the, the weather kind of cooled down here, and I say that because we were hit by pitches, uh, 10 pitches, and you were hit by a pitch. How does it feel getting hit by a fastball in, in this weather? Uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Just take it in the back and go on. So. Now this win here got you guys back to 500 and we're getting closer into uh, conference play here. Um, what, what does a win like this do? It's kind of a rivalry we have with the Delta Devils. So what does a win like this kind of do, kind of amp up the team here? Uh, it's good to get a win like this going into conference, get some momentum. Uh, it's good to win against the in-state rival as well. Right, thanks for your time there, Will. All right, thanks. thanks. And standing by after that big win with Coach Kinnison is our own Jimmy Smith. Thanks, Kobe. Here with the head coach Mike Kinnison. Coach, get the team back to 500 on the year and uh, kind of an in-state rivalry. You know, there could be some recruiting trails that you and Valley are both on the same player or something like that, but it's got to feel good. And D1 opponent, uh, Mississippi Valley State, pretty good. We split with them last year. Started out not very well, 4-1 to one before we finally had that four-run fourth inning, but a very good win heading into the conference. Now you've run three in a row. Well, they're all good wins for us right now. We're still kind of struggling to find our identity a little bit and that was really kind of a story of two different games. Uh, started slow, did not get good start in pitching. Uh, you know, Jordan has done a good job for us, but tonight he just didn't have it and uh, just, you know, wasn't real sharp with his location. And uh, we made some errors and didn't play well early, but uh, the, the good thing was we turned that around. We finally got some offense generated, had a couple of nice innings. And it feels good to win. It feels good to kind of uh, get back on the offensive track a little bit and put some runs up, and that's something we haven't been doing. Coach, you go for four runs in that four in the fourth inning, eighth, eight runs in the sixth inning, and your top uh, three of your top four hitters had multiple RBI nights, and uh, Michael Neiman had three, and uh, Will McGinnis had four, and Cameron Oblak had two. So offense, top of the order, that's starting to come around too. Well, that's what we've been missing. We, we know we've got some guys in our lineup who are capable of uh, being good offensive performers. They've just gotten off to a slow start, and it's good to see them get started tonight, and hopefully they can keep that up. We're going to need that. Hit by pitch, also a pretty big part of this, this baseball game, is uh, Brent Kack, which was one away from setting a new school record. One of those records you don't want to set. Hit three times, 10 total uh, pitches from Mississippi Valley State, struck one of your hitters, and those compile, those make those innings pretty easy to rack up the big runs. Well, it certainly helped, but you've got to have those things to have a big inning, an error at the right time, a hit batsman. You know, you're not going to just go up there and get eight or nine hits in a row and score six or seven runs. So you got to be, you got to get the base on balls. You got to get the hit bats when they came at an opportune time for us. You saw Josh Brandstetter come in in place of Jordan Moore, your your one-two starter really before the season started, and and it was good to see them go back to back and and see and uh, Josh in more of a relief setting come in and get that W. Well, I thought Josh did a really good job of coming in and calming the game down, damage control if you want, and he uh, kind of kind of calmed things down, gave our hitters a chance to get back in the game a little bit, and I thought his three innings were solid. That's a, another good performance for him as we're trying to bring him along and build his pitch counts up and get him more into the mix for what we're doing. So I'm real pleased with both uh, performances he has had his two times that he has thrown for us and I thought tonight he came into a tough situation and uh, did just what we needed gave us a chance to get back in the game. Coach finally Southern uh, Arkansas kind of around the corner what do you think this team uh, still has to lead has, still has on the table to prepare for that baseball game those baseball games and and how do you think these three wins in a row really helped that? Well, I know the three wins have helped our confidence level and uh, let us get our head up a little bit and feel better about ourselves. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the competition that lies ahead for us is no secret. There's some good baseball teams out there, and I'm looking forward to it. I think, uh, you know, we're going to be a team that, that realizes we've got to play good against good competition, and uh, I, think, I think we'll respond to that. I'm going to trust them to respond to that. Coach, thank you. Congratulations for the win. Thank you.